the show rolling, and I'm going to introduce this guy. He needs no introduction. You know him, man. Put your hands together. Show some love for George Quay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We are guys. <laughs> George, welcome to the show, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's an honor to be back here again. Wow. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we're coming, we're, 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 I can see we are coming to you live from the airport city. <laughs> oh, okay. right from the airport city, man. <laughs> live and direct. Exactly. But tell you, they, they didn't bring me the memo. Tell me, oh my, which, they which told one? me that you're going to come spotted like this. I would have no, no, you, you, tried to up my game small. You dress like this when you are broke. <laughs> <laughs> that when you're driving and you're in the street face, the police won't even stop. Oh, yeah, no, 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 Oh, boss, boss. <laughs> Not in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, I don't believe that. Man. Not in the pocket. But I hear J. Troy, the moon, the cash, cash is flowing there. Wow, wow. Is it wah. now? Yeah. Then I haven't been informed. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, man? God is good. God yeah. is blessing us. We're trying small, small. Mm, We're trying small, mm, small. Mm. Yes, I mean. Well, they know you, man. We, we've done your personality here. So today, I wanted to get into some new angle, man. Because you, you, you are, you are a symbol of entertainment, man. Hey. Ah, <laughs> entertainment, <laughs> <laughs> I don't sing. You don't sing? Yeah. At some you, point, I actually thought I could be a Oh, musician. you wanted to be a singer? Mm. Really? I, I was a rapper. Apart from the small, law? Small. Yeah, the, 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 that was my best dream, and I'm sure I'll pursue it at some point. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I know you will. I'm, I'm sure I'll pursue I know it you at will. some point. Yeah. We, we have to. It's you seem to have that passion. You go, uh, you see that you... We'll, 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 we'll do law, we'll do law, we'll do law. Have you thought about the entertainment law? Or you want to go into this? Um, entertainment law is not a bad idea. Because um, I haven't really met any astute mm -hmm, entertainment lawyers mm -hmm, here mm -hmm. in Ghana. We don't have them. We don't. So um, it's something that we can, um, you know, pursue. Uh, yeah, it's something that we can consider. Yeah. You never know. I'll have a chat with my wife about it. And yeah. She, she is the domestic dictator. She, she directs <laughs> where we should go, what we should do, you know. I always, I don't know being for I don't think I would have acquired a master's by now. Oh, so really? I, she, well, she puts the... Yeah, she pushes you. Okay, so you've done this. What next? She believes in this idea of the next level. Mm. She believes mm. everybody in mm. life has a next level. Mm. And um, if you let that next level opportunity slip by, you've lost a lot. It's like traveling on the M25 in London. Mm -hmm. You know, when you miss your turn, you might have to go all, all the, the way, way around again. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, Time and tide wait for no man. Yeah. So you may not have that luxury of that time so to you go try, all the way. You try around. not to so miss the ten. You try not to miss the ten. Attain that next level. Attain that next level. Attain that next level. And so, at what point yeah. did you get to and said, "No, you need to go to the next level. Do your masters." There was a day I asked myself, "Do I want to be an actor for the rest of my living days? Is acting?" in Ghana enough? Yeah. Would it be enough to yeah. put food on the table? Yeah. Will my children be proud of me? Will mm. my wife be proud of me? Will people be, you know? And um, at that point, today, the scenes have changed. At that point, you look at an actor, the average Ghanaian actor, and it's not something you'd want to be. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I decided no. I may be very talented. I still believe I'm one of Ghana's finest actors. <laughs> 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 I may be very talented, but let me get an education. Mm. Let me mm. pursue something. Okay, mm. I have acting, so why not go to the School of Performing Arts? After School of Performing Arts, yeah, we worked a little bit. You know, wifey said, okay, you worked. You finished, uh, you have a degree. You worked for like, what, four years? Why don't you add a master's Next in level. something else? You know, and... Um, I've always loved communications, you know, writing corporate letters, sending out memos and all those things, responding to queries and all these things. I said, okay, let's try communications. So I went back to do masters in communications. Now the next level is that law degree. Put your hands in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I believe you will, man. I, believe. Yes. I was always also surprisingly very, very interested in entertainment law, man, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But I didn't make that ten, you know. Now yeah. I, it's, I really, it's, it's I, not I, too late. Oh man! <laughs> no, no, there's no. The good thing about education is there's I know, no age. I know. There's no I know. Age. So, um, I know. There are some it's people a, that can still benefit from oh, free yeah. SHS now. People. Oh yeah, yeah. Some you are know? even older than us, mm -hmm, but they can benefit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. So um, yeah. thank God for that. Well, when you, you start calling me, I may be inspired by your presence. You know the CEO. I'm going to be in the class. Then what is happening with the entertainment, man, in Ghana? What's 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 on now? Um, well, a lot happening. Um, oh, by the, the way, music scene. who's your wife? You, you said it's so much great things about oh, her. Mrs. Pearl Henry Takwe. Mrs. Pearl Henry. That, yeah. sh that's her on screen right now, man. Show some love. <laughs> 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 no, 
the seats for her, he's like, well, that's why we're pushing, you know, the man, you know. But that's yeah, great, that's yeah, great. Yeah, it's yeah. good to hear testimonies of, of, of your wife and how great they've oh, been. Oh, no, she, supportive, she, she, you know. She, she, she's yeah. my angel. We, yeah. we, we met a long time ago. Fantastic. We met in um, 2000, started dating in 2002, got married in 2012. Really? Mm. Whoa. 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 Were you cosmics? No. No, we you weren't. I was at the school of performing arts. She was reading psychology and information studies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, okay. So, um, That's great, man. No, it's good to have, you know, I, I don't say enough about my wife, but she's the pillar, man. Exactly. You know? And so... Without them, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Know, without them. Yeah. So um, I, I owe a lot to her. I don't know how she's been able to cope with me all these years. <laughs> <laughs> she must... She has got sent. Maybe you're good. We try to be. You know, you know, it's a challenging industry, but we try to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to entertainment. What's what's? Yeah, I mean, what's right what's, now? The the young um, in the music space, for instance, um, the young um, guys and girls are doing very well. Yeah. Um, I mean, currently, uh, recently, we were looking at the the top trending songs on the, the Shazam charts, mm -hmm. and um, you have. Um, Cuts uh, from the MTN Hitmaker series from previous years, like uh, Kitty, like Kwame Eugene, like Carol Songs, who are doing very well. Mm. Kitty had a song, for instance, re released recently. Um, I think it's called Odo. Mm. I don't know mm. if you've heard it. It starts, See me, I no get 30 billion. Odo, oh, yeah, wait. And um, I think he's yeah. getting a remix yeah. with Davido. You know, Davido's song. Uh, uh, there's a 30 billion in one of DeVito's songs and it looks like he picked. So it's kind of working, going mm, very well mm, for him. Mm, uh, mm. Kwame Eugen is also doing pretty well with his mm. Angela track. And okay. then Carl Songs, when he released that song, and the Krabu people got angry. <laughs> <laughs> so they are doing pretty, pretty well. And of course, Ebony is also doing quite mm -hmm, well on the scene. Mm -hmm. And then there's this Kim Promise, you know, another young cat who's doing very, very, very well on the scene, you know. So the future so looks are, good. There, the there's future looks more. Good. The yeah. future looks good. And if you look, the trend is changing. A lot of them are singing now. Mm. Mm. They are singing, mm. but then of course there's also the the, the one corner. <laughs> <laughs> what is one corner? Man? Where, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> but you see, they from time to time you get some of these. Yeah. They come up. You remember there used to be Jeff Bogolobo or something, Alaji. Hey, Alaji. Yeah, yeah, Alaji. yeah. yeah. Alaji. What happened? Um, that, that was his one time big thing. Uh, that's, always... that's the nature of those songs. Mm. They are Alaji was. They are uh, disposable uh, yeah, songs. You know, yeah, they come quickly, they disappear quickly. Yeah. You know, just like it that. just makes the press. It just makes a. Felt. You know, last year, um, what's his name? Um, that young man, um, Article One, uh, Solo. You know, I mean Solo. In that Solo, I mean Solo. You know, I. I don't remember the number of times I've heard that song this year. Okay. But last year, okay. almost every, every party, yeah. that song was a top banger yeah. there. Yeah. You know, so um, sometimes you get some of these one of the songs that seem don't seem to make sense. Yeah. They don't seem to have any. But they catch on, they on catch like fire, on and they fly, they burn, they you know, they top charts, they just go everywhere. So that's the way it is. But it, looking at it from um, another point of view, like uh, professionally, yeah. somebody like this one corner guy yeah. or the. Others you've mentioned who yeah. come on with that one-time banger. Yeah. Is it possible for a manager to step in right away to capitalize on that so that maybe or they are just... It is, it is tricky. Mm. It is tricky because, um, you see, I believe in every musician's life, there is that one song that you do that you might never, ever be able to beat. Mm. For instance, um, when I take a song like Babai by um, Kwabna Kwabna featuring Asem, I don't think that too can ever do another collabo that will beat that song. That mm. song for me was one of the best songs mm. ever released in mm. Ghana. Mm. Bye bye, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful track. You know, so sometimes for a manager, it's difficult to make a decision mm. that, okay, am I coming in just to do this one? Okay. What happens when it's over? Let us take um, the guy who sampled uh, Gazmela's song, Telemo. What's his name? Um, Yeokrum. Um, mm, Atom. Mm, 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 I mean, after mm. Yeokrum two years ago, what else? That was it. So imagine if a manager came to invest in him and all that, and then after Yeokrum, we haven't heard mm, anything again. Mm, anything again. So mm. some, sometimes these, so it's tricky. If yeah. you're going to be a manager, you yeah. need to, you know, you know, Kiki Bansa would always tell you that if whoever is coming to manage you hasn't got a five-year plan for you, Forget don't it. work with them. Mm, you know. Mm. So for the artist, it's important. The manager should come on board with some idea. You shouldn't just be somebody who's going, yeah, this artist has money. Let me make a go chop my own and leave. No, 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 no. You are investing a in a long-term thing. Exactly. Mm, it's like a marriage. Mm, mm. Not a one-night stand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> you know, so mm. it's, it's very important mm -hmm. that... Um, 
both musician and artist have that cordial understanding yeah. relationship yeah. and there is a future it shouldn't just be about that that one track can be this you know like the diving board yeah you know that springs, springs you up you. and then you know you fly yeah. but um it shouldn't be so it's like yeah. kind of like entertainment you almost don't can't predict the market eh? you can't you cannot predict the market at one time dance all rings at another time high life rings at another time hip life rings. there was a time when thanks to the grandfather reggie rockstone every musician wanted to be a hip life actor. yeah yeah i remember reading articles like the death of high life high life is dying high life is dead but look at the trends now all these young guys are singing high life yeah thanks to our two bs i think they were revolution when it comes to um, the young people singing high life uh, they said it was a pun yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I <don't remember> that. <laughs> yeah. you know. so um i think um our two bs you know changed the phase of mm -hmm. high life when it comes mm -hmm. to you know high life mm -hmm. for the young mm -hmm. musicians mm -hmm. and um listen to the songs that are released all the guys are singing and they are doing very 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 well they are doing so 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 well and um, so when you listen to the rhythm you can tell that look this is high life mm, we can call it mm. afro pop whatever pop whatever but pop, it's high life, but it's high life. Mm. Yeah. Mm. so there's sort of like the resurgence high life is like there's a exactly coming back and the the kids quote unquote with no disrespect to them uh, kind of, if you ask me, I think they are doing very, very, very well. Mm. Very, very, very well. Mm. I think this is the about the right time for some of our matured high life acts in the system mm. to collaborate with mm. them because mm. they are doing so well. Mm. It can be a combination of experiences from different, you know, um, age brackets. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. that, can, that together can create some very, very look. Somebody called into my radio program on Star FM and said, God created only three musicians in the world Bob Marley, Michael Jackson, and guess who? who? Daddy Lumba. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. So so only three musicians. Only three musicians. <laughs> the rest are all trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's I forgot his name. Somebody, he's been calling us from Nkoko. You wow. Know, yeah, regular call. Said <laughs> so God created only three musicians. You know, Daddy Lumba, uh, Bob Marley, and um, Michael Jackson. So imagine if we kind of had a collaboration, Daddy Lumba and maybe Kitty. Or um, mm. um, Amachi Dedi and R2Bs. Mm. Um, mm. You know, some of these collaborations do mm. exist, but I think this is about the time that we should have a bit more. Mm. Because mm. there's a generational thing, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Those that grew up listening to the Amachi Dedes and Daddy Lumbas and all that, if you have a chat with them, they will tell you, oh, you put the music you play these days, it's not music. But they've forgotten that in their prime, they were the age of those enjoying the young ones now. So I feel if there is this kind of collaboration, mm. this sort of merger. Mm. Mm. I remember when I had yeah. a Wuta here, he, yeah. he was talking about the, about the generational yeah. thing. Yeah. And, it's, and it's high, high life seems to be the basis. It is. But they have to sort of... It is. Yeah. You know, the high life has um, been hit with a lot of influences yeah. from all countries, you know, north, south, east, west, the world as a whole. But when you listen to music from all around us, mm. you know, Ivory Coast, Nigeria especially. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think Nigeria has done better with high life than mm -hmm, we have. You mm -hmm. know, you re listen to Nigerian music, even what they call hip hop and all of these, you listen to their rhythm, basic core rhythm, and you realize that the gentlemen and the ladies there are doing very, very, very mm. well with our high mm. life. Mm. Can you blame them? A lot of their guys come through here. Mm -hmm. Look at Pato Ranking, look at Mr. Easy, all of them, mm -hmm. you know, they mm -hmm. have a lot of connections. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Davido has a lot of friends here and all that. They interact every now and then. So um, I think we have what it takes to influence the world. We probably just don't appreciate our own that much. Mm. If we did and give it a bit more attention. Could you see as the next big thing <laughs> in music? In music, No, yeah. there's in, a lot. Get, I, I've there's already a lot, mentioned yeah. a lot of names. It, it will be very, very difficult mm. to, you know, mm. pinpoint one person and yeah. say that, I think it is this guy, yeah. I think it is yeah. that guy. Because there's, this, yes, there, there are a lot that you haven't heard of. Wow. For me, in the last five, six, seven years, I think the greatest voice I have heard is from a gentleman a lot of people probably don't know called AJ Lyrics. Really? He was on the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards last year as one of the unsung artist contestants. Mm. And um, he didn't win. But the gentleman has a voice that, wow. you know, wow. he, is, he, is, he is phenomenal. He is unique. Yeah. And I think we should look out for yeah. him, you know. Yeah. I think, I think, very well. I think the landscape is really changing, yeah. you know. I, I, I was talking to somebody, when we, even when we talk about comedy. Yeah. I don't remember that time there was only KSM. True. For the longest time. For a very, very long time. And that you was know, after Tommy and Unforsen uh, yeah, and, and, um, Fritz Up, and Fritz, Fritz Baffo. Fritz Baffo. Yeah. Then KSM came on for a very, yeah. very long time. Now look at this. Now it's changed. so competitive. And they are doing so well. Almost yeah. every weekend they have their own show. 
and it's something some of us pushed it's beautiful for because you cannot call yourself a comedian if you don't practice yeah. regularly yeah. if you don't yeah. you know trade if you don't perform your act in front of an audience it's the only way you know this joke actually works this doesn't that doesn't you know? work yeah so um i think the guys are doing great shout yeah. outs to all of them all of them yeah. everything is changing it's them. like yeah. is, is it like an opening in the how do you see this this is like the entertainment industry is opening up there are more avenues for it is opening up but there's just one problem mm. corporate ghana is not supporting it enough mm. Mm. So um, a lot of the people are working hard, yeah. but they cannot feel the hard work in their pockets. Yeah. That is why a lot of us have to work two, three, four jobs yeah. just to be able to make yeah. ends meet. Mm. Because um, uh, someone once told me the desire for people to want to see and touch you is what makes you a star. When you look at a star way up there in the sky, you f wish you could touch it. That's what makes you a star. So there's a certain expectation. There's a certain lifestyle. You remember earlier, why did I decide not to be an actor? Because at that point, point you look at the average Ghanaian actor and that is not what I want to be that is not the kind of life yeah. I want to live but today it is changing and it's not changing because the acting is paying so well it's changing because the actor has to do three four five six things to be able to live that kind of life yeah. yes you know if corporate Ghana could support the industry a bit more, if corporate Ghana could invest a bit more money into it, if corporate Ghana, you know, I don't know, if it would take government to say, okay, if you support the creative arts, if you support tourism, you support education, you support um, 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 health, you know, we'll at the end of the breaks, year, yeah. when you are, we'll give yeah. you some tax reliefs and some breaks on st or stuff like that. If you're a media organization that gives media support to this, that, that, and that, you know, we can give you reliefs on some of these mm -hmm. things and, and mm -hmm. all all that you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but um until some of these things are put in place mm -hmm. we'll continue to suffer because guys don't forget if any corporate organization let's say a bank in, an insurance agency or um, any other organization wants to cut down budget it's a sector they look at first first thing first thing it's a yeah. sector they look at first yeah. which is very yeah. very painful and yeah. very very yeah. unfortunate yeah. how can i then call shatawale and pay him good yeah. money how can i call sakode and pay him good money how can i call stone boy and pay him good money how can i call samini and pay him good money how can i call it fear and pay her good money how can i call becca and pay her very good money if i don't have that support mm -hmm. because cost mm -hmm. of media keeps going up Cost of all these equipment, lights, camera, everything the is going set, up. everything yeah. is expensive. Costume, makeup, everything is so expensive. One other important aspect that keeps going up is cost of lifestyle because mm. people are looking up to you. They see you on TV. You can't struggle with them with trot trot at the bus station. <laughs> it's true. If yeah. you're going to drive, they can't see you by the roadside. Tell your car is broken. People are pushing it. Let me give you know. an example. Well, listen, I was I was traveling to South Africa, yeah. you know, and I went to uh, the, the, to get a ticket. So they said, okay, so, oh, and so the business class, so they immediately assumed, yeah, I, that's I, you. Oh. I said, you don't know, <laughs> you don't know what my <laughs> uncle gets inside. <laughs> said, oh, okay, so, you know, it's not first day, it's going exactly. business. Exactly. Well, so, you don't know. You don't so, know. <laughs> it's not easy. It is yeah, not easy. Yeah. It I want to take a commercial break, yeah? yeah? When we come back, we'll delve more into this whole corporate aspect thing. So stick around, folks. We'll be right back. It's going to get sweeter than guinea fowl. It's the KSM Show. ASM show.